everyone, I'm Allie and welcome to my channel and welcome to the third installment of Halloween. Today I am taking on a very trendy type of Halloween decor and that is black and white. I feel like black and white has just become the very popular color scheme this year especially so I wanted to get in on that trend so I'm going to show you the re really easy black and white Halloween DIYs that will basically look great in any style home because of just how neutral black and white can be. I have said black and white like 300 times and I'm about to say it probably 300 more times in the voiceover. So let's hop in to this video. For this first DIY, I'm using this Dollar Tree wood trick or treat sign and this 12 by 16 wood craft sign that I got from Joann's. I started by taping around the edges of the sign because I like the white background but not the brown frame. After that, I decided to cut the pumpkins off the trick or treat sign super carefully with my utility knife. Of course, this part is completely optional. Next, I painted the frame and trick-or-treat sign with two coats of black acrylic paint. Once all the paint dried, I used more painter's tape to mask off the or in the trick-or-treat sign. And this is optional again, I just wanted to make sure I had super nice clean lines for the next step. Next, I painted Mod Podge over Trick and covered it with black glitter. I repeated that with the word treat and I also used my fingers to help press the glitter into the glue before dumping off all of the excess. I allowed the glitter to dry for about 5-10 minutes before going over all of the glitter with a thick layer of Mod Podge to seal it in. I also sprinkled just a little extra glitter on top because I noticed some of it was moving around and I did this step for both trick and treat. Once the glitter dried completely, I removed the painter's tape off the sign and off the trick or treat sign. Then I found the middle of the wood sign, which I marked with the painter's tape you see here, and put hot glue on the back of Trick or Treat and carefully placed it in the middle of the sign. I'm using a Dollar Tree doormat for this next DIY. I've already done a sunflower doormat similar to this and I wanted to do the same concept but make it for Halloween. The first thing I did was draw a semicircle on the doormat by wrapping a string around a Dollar Tree chalk pen. These things are so awesome. And I held the other end in place to make a makeshift compass. Then I used the chalk pen and a ruler to make each spoke of the spider web and then the connector pieces in between. After that, I used a sharp pair of scissors to cut out the shape of the spider web. Finally, I painted on the spiderweb design using white acrylic paint. Next up, I wanted to make a wreath inspired by another wreath I've seen on Pinterest and have wanted to recreate for years. 
Wreaths need florals, so I'm using some of these that I've had in my stash. And to match with the theme of the video, I took them outside and coated all of the florals with matte black spray paint. After the spray paint dried, I began assembling the wreath. I'm using a grapevine wreath, which I've just had in my stash for a long time, waiting for this day. I used my wire cutters to snip off these little, I don't know, scraggly bits, and then bend them into shape and used hot glue to attach them to the wreath. Next, I attached the flower pieces to the bottom of the wreath. After that, I used Spanish moss to form a nest above the flowers on the bottom of the wreath. And now when working with any kind of moss, you'll need to use a lot of hot glue and really push the moss into the glue so that it holds in place. It is super messy to work with. Once the moss was how I liked it, I added this mini crow to the wreath and I got this cute little guy in a pack of three off Amazon and I'll be sure to link where you can find them on my blog. To get him to stay on the wreath, I used a lot of hot glue and the wires that are attached to the crow's feet. this set of DIYs. Today we are smack dab in the middle of Halloween. I have done two videos already and there are two more to go, which is just crazy. So if you want to go check out the previous two videos, that playlist is linked in the description. And if you don't want to miss the two coming up, don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on the notification bell. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like. And my question of the day for you guys is what is your go-to color scheme when decorating for Halloween? So I'm gonna go, I have to keep working on some more of these Halloween videos and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.